So, Apple fans, here we are once again, standing on the edge of another massive leap in Apple Silicon. The Mac Studio has already proven itself as one of the most powerful desktop computers Apple has ever created. But now, whispers across the tech community point to something truly wild. The Mac Studio M5 Ultra, a next-gen monster chip that might redefine performance for creative professionals, developers, and anyone pushing their machine to the limit. Today, we're diving deep into everything we know and everything we expect about Apple's next-generation Mac Studio. From the release date and expected pricing, to the M5 Max and M5 Ultra chip architecture, to design changes, display upgrades, and Apple's long-term desktop strategy, we'll unpack it all. But first, let's rewind just a bit to understand how we got here. A quick look back, the evolution of Mac Studio. The story of the Mac Studio is a fascinating one. When Apple first launched this machine, it was positioned perfectly between the Mac Mini and the Mac Pro, a desktop powerhouse for professionals who needed serious performance but didn't want to spend $7,000 plus on a fully loaded Mac Pro. The first-generation Mac Studio, powered by the M1 Max and M1 Ultra, stunned reviewers and professionals alike. Suddenly, filmmakers, 3D designers, and coders had workstation-class power in a device that could literally fit into one hand. Then came the M2 Ultra Refresh, followed by the M3 Ultra and M4 Max configurations in early 2025. This was where things got a little complicated. Apple chose to release the M4 Max alongside the M3 Ultra, skipping an M4 Ultra entirely. That decision confused a lot of people. Was Apple shifting its chip release schedule? Was it a marketing strategy? Or were they holding something even bigger back? Well, it turns out, Apple might have been saving the big guns for the M5 generation. M4 Ultra missing, what was Apple thinking? When the M3 Ultra dropped in 2025, it seemed natural that the M4 Ultra would follow soon after. But instead, Apple went quiet. The Mac Studio with M4 Max became the newest configuration, and it turned out to be surprisingly close to the M3 Ultra in terms of performance benchmarks. The M4 Max had a 16-core CPU with 12 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, and a GPU that could be configured up to 40 cores. The performance was impressive, especially at a $2,000 starting price, but it didn't bring that jaw-dropping generational leap that many expected. Many users with M2 Ultra or M3 Ultra models saw little reason to upgrade. Yet the M4 Max did show us one thing. Apple silicon efficiency is peaking, and the next real leap would require a full architectural overhaul, something that's now coming with the M5 Ultra. M5 Ultra. Apple's silicon revolution continues. Now let's get to the star of the show, the M5 Ultra chip. According to industry insiders, Apple's M5 family is already deep in production testing and will likely power the MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and Mac Studio lineup starting late 2025 and early 2026. Apple's M5 lineup will include M5, base model for MacBook Air and entry-level Mac Mini. M5 Pro, mid-tier chip for 14-inch MacBook Pro. M5 Max, high-end chip for larger laptops and base Mac Studio. M5 Ultra, top-tier desktop chip for Mac Studio and possibly Mac Pro. What makes the M5 Ultra exciting isn't just the increase in cores. It's how Apple is expected to optimize AI processing, machine learning acceleration, and graphics performance for the next generation of creative tools. With AI-based workflows becoming the new norm, from Final Cut Pro's intelligent editing features to Logic Pro's generative music creation, Apple knows its next desktop chip has to do more than just run faster. It has to think smarter. Expected core counts and performance upgrades. So, what exactly are we expecting under the hood? Let's break it down. M5 Max. Starting with the M5 Max, the successor to the M4 Max is expected to include 18-core CPU, 14 performance plus 4 efficiency cores, up to 42-core GPU, support for unified memory up to 128 gigabytes, 5-nanometer enhanced architecture, TSMC N3 e-process. This alone would make it one of the most balanced chips in Apple's history. 
excellent for high-end laptops and the entry Mac Studio model. M5 Ultra. Now for the monster, the M5 Ultra. Based on leaked schematics and supplier reports, the M5 Ultra could feature 36 core CPU, 28 performance plus 8 efficiency, up to 84 core GPU, neural engine with 64 cores, double the M3 Ultra. Support for up to 256 gigabytes unified memory. Improve hardware ray tracing and AI compute cores. That's a massive jump, not just in raw processing, but in real-world performance. The M5 Ultra is designed for multi-threaded workloads, AI rendering, simulation, 8K video editing, and machine learning pipelines. Apple is reportedly testing a dual-die interconnect that doubles bandwidth between CPU and GPU cores, meaning tasks that used to require dedicated GPUs could now be handled entirely within Apple Silicon. This chip could make the Mac Studio one of the most efficient, powerful, and quiet desktop machines ever made. Mac Studio Design. Will anything change? Now let's talk design. Apple's Mac Studio Design language has remained largely unchanged since its debut. A compact aluminum cube with precision milled vents, whisper quiet fans, and a focus on function over flash. Don't expect a major redesign with the 2026 model. The port layout will likely stay the same. Thunderbolt 5 ports on the back, USB-C and SD card reader on the front, and a 10 gigabits Ethernet port. However, one exciting rumor suggests Apple might introduce a space black or darker space gray variant, matching the new MacBook Pros. This small cosmetic change could give a next Mac Studio a more premium, stealthy look, especially when paired with Apple's rumored next-generation studio display. Studio Display 2, the perfect match for Mac Studio M5 Ultra. Speaking of displays, Apple Studio Display hasn't seen a real refresh since it launched alongside the original Mac Studio. The current 27-inch 5K display uses the same LCD panel technology that dates back to the old 27-inch iMac from 2014. That's over a decade old now. For a company obsessed with cutting-edge visuals, that's shocking. So what's next? Sources close to Apple suggest that a Studio Display 2 is already in development. Expected upgrades include Promotion, 120Hz adaptive refresh rate Mini-LED or micro-LED backlighting Better HDR performance Improved webcam and audio array Thinner bezels and an adjustable stand This new display could launch alongside the Mac Studio M5 Ultra giving professionals an end-to-end -end visual and performance experience. Thermal design and cooling efficiency. Performance means nothing without cooling, and that's where Apple's design team continues to impress. The current Mac Studio already runs impressively quiet, even under sustained workloads. But with the M5 Ultra's expanded core count, Apple is reportedly improving internal heat dissipation through liquid vapor chamber cooling a technology adapted from the MacBook Pro line. This could allow the Mac Studio to handle heavy 3D rendering or machine learning tasks at peak performance without throttling. And since efficiency is Apple's core advantage over Intel or AMD systems, expect the M5 Ultra to maintain incredible performance per watt, even when under pressure. AI and Apple Intelligence Integration With Apple Intelligence now being integrated across Mac OS, iPad OS, and iOS, the next Mac Studio will likely play a huge role in this new AI era. Imagine Final Cut Pro automatically tagging and categorizing your footage, or Logic Pro generating background instrument layers that fit your song's tempo, all processed locally by the M5 Ultra's neural engine. Apple's strategy seems clear. Bring local AI processing to every major device removing dependence on cloud-based systems, and keeping your data private. The Mac Studio M5 Ultra will probably serve as the AI powerhouse in Apple's ecosystem, optimized for both creative pros and developers building the next wave of AI tools. Price and storage configurations. Now let's talk money, because power like this doesn't come cheap. The current Mac Studio M4 Max starts at $1,999 while the M3 Ultra configuration begins at $3,999.
Given the complexity of the new M5 chips, it's likely that prices will remain in that same range. Though potential tariff fluctuations could push the Ultra model closer to $4,199 or $4,299. Here's what we can expect. Max Studio M5 Max, base model $1,999. Max Studio M5 Ultra, base $3,999. Upgraded storage slash memory options up to $6,999 for top-tier configurations. These prices may sound high, but for professionals working in film production, AI research, and 3D modeling, the cost is justified by the performance jump and Apple's industry-leading reliability. Release. Date. When will we see it? Timing-wise, the M5 Ultra Max Studio is expected to debut sometime between spring and summer 2026. Apple's chip roadmap shows the M5 series beginning rollout in late 2025, starting with the iPad Pro M5 and MacBook Pro M5 Max. Once those launch, it's only a matter of months before Apple brings the ultra-tier chip to desktops. Most likely, Apple will reveal the Mac Studio M5 Ultra at WWDC 2026, positioning it as the ultimate machine for developers and professionals taking advantage of Apple intelligence and Mac OS 16 features. Comparisons, where it stands. Compared to the Mac Pro, the Mac Studio continues to offer a better value to performance ratio. Apple's internal strategy seems to favor the Studio line, delivering near identical power in a smaller and more affordable form. Against competitors like the Dell Precision, HP Z8 Fury, or NVIDIA RTX workstations, Apple still wins in energy efficiency, thermals, and software optimization. And with the M5 Ultra, Apple may finally surpass even high-end NVIDIA and AMD setups for creative workflows that rely on CPU-GPU synergy, such as video production, 3D rendering, and AI inference. Apple's long-term vision for the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio M5 Ultra isn't just another desktop upgrade. It represents Apple's entire vision for the future of computing. We're moving into an era where AI, efficiency, and local processing matter more than raw teraflops. Apple's approach is about building sustainable, silent, high-performance systems that integrate seamlessly with the entire ecosystem, from iPhone to Vision Pro. Imagine connecting your Vision Pro headset to a Mac Studio and instantly entering a 3D editing suite powered by Apple's most advanced chip ever. That's the direction Apple is heading and the M5 Ultra will be the backbone of it. Final thoughts. The Mac Studio M5 Ultra looks set to become one of the most powerful, efficient, and forward-thinking desktop computers in the world. With an 84-core GPU, 36-core CPU, massive AI acceleration, and the possibility of micro-LED studio displays, Apple is preparing to dominate the creative and professional computing market once again. If you're using a Mac Studio M, one Ultra or M2 Ultra, the M5 generation might finally be the one worth upgrading to. It won't just bring faster rendering or smoother playback. It'll introduce a new era of intelligent performance. So, are you ready for the next generation monster chip? Let me know in the comments what feature excites you most. The AI improvements, the performance leap, or the sleek new design. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more in-depth Apple Silicon coverage, future leaks, and performance comparisons as we get closer to WWDC 2026. This is your inside look at the Mac Studio M5 Ultra, the future of desktop power redefined.